Hello everyone, welcome to Coding with Ivan. Welcome to the fourth part of our playlist called Make Your First Android App. So in the previous video, we saw how we can generate signed APK and debug APK for our Android app. So in today's video, we will upload our APK file to the Play Store. And to upload the Play Store, as I have told you earlier, we need to generate a release APK. Alright, so there is our APK for our Dice Solar app. Now let's quickly go to our Play Store console. So for this, we need to go to play.google.com slash console. I'll give the link in the description. From there, when you will visit the link, uh, there will be a form appeared here. So here you have to fill up the form and click on create account and pay. So in order to create the account, you need to pay a one time amount of $25. After that, your account will be created. And as I have already opened the account, so I'll directly go to my play console account. So here, as you can see, this is my play console and I have already uploaded two of my apps, the PDF reader and the image compressor. All right, though no one have downloaded our apps, sad. Okay, so now in order to create or upload our new app, we have to click on this create app and then we have to give the app name here. So let's call this dice roller and then we have to set the default language let's keep it as english then we have to define if our uh, app is app or game so i'll click on app then we have to select uh, if our app is free or paid so let's keep it free okay and then let's agree with these terms and conditions and click on create app so now we are in our dashboard so from here let's click on this set up your app and click on this view tasks so here we have several tasks here so at first let's click on this app access and from here let's select the all functionalities available without a special access as our app don't have any special access and click on save all right now let's click on this dashboard so here as you can see your app access task is done now let's click on this content rating and click on start questionnaire So here we will define our email address. All right. And now we have to select a category. So let's click on entertainment and click on next. Now, does the app contain interfaces of references to our depictions of violence? okay no our app don't have any type of content like that okay let's also select this no let's quickly just fill up these uh, questions all right so when you have answered all of this we have to go down and click on this save here after that we can click on next so here we have our content ratings let's go down here and click on submit okay so here we have got our ratings now we can click on this dashboard again and now we'll click on this target audience so it's asking for complete ad section let's go to ads and as our app don't have any ads so i'll click on this no my app does not contain ads let's click on save okay now let's go back to app content okay let's go back to dashboard 
now go down into target audience so from here we can select our target audience of our application let's select 18 and over and click on next so could your store listing unintentionally appeal to children uh, no okay now let's click on next and finally we can save it and then we'll again click on this dashboard and now we'll click on this news apps and is your app a news app no our app is not a news app and click on save now again go back to dashboard scroll down and here we need to add the app category and provide the contact details so click here now let's select this as an app and for the category let's write entertainment and you can also add tags if you want and now let's give the store listing contact details so for the email address I'll pass all right you can also add your phone number if you want but I won't add and then we can also add our website here so I'll write www.codingwithevan.com all right now let's scroll down here and let's click on this save all right our changes are now saved now let's click on this uh, okay let's go back to dashboard and from here now we'll click on this set up your store listing here so now we need to add some UI elements to show in our play uh, play store okay now here is our app name called dice roller now let's give a short description and a full description of our app all right now let's scroll down a little bit and here we have to upload the app icon so for the app icon i have already prepared some icons and other stuffs here so for the app icon i'll pass this one let's drag and drop this here so that is how our app icon will look like in the play store now let's scroll down more and we have to feature a graphic image that will be uh, showed as a banner of our application so for the banner image i have also prepared one uh, this one let's drag and drop this here okay so here is our banner now let's scroll down more and we can also add a video of our app uh, okay I'll add that video later let's keep that for now and then we have to upload some phone screenshots so here as you can see uh, okay for all the images there was a mentioned uh, resolutions so you have to edit your feature graphic and icon with this particular uh, pixel or the particular size all right so make sure you check that and now let's upload some phone screenshots so i have already prepared some i have prepared six of them so let's select all of them and drag and drop them here oops let's remove this okay so here is our six screenshots now let's scroll down more and here we have some more sections for tablet screenshots and uh, 10 inch tablet screenshots so let's also upload our same images okay so I'll select this all click open for this one also 
open. All right. Okay, so our, all of our images are uploaded and now we can click on save. Okay, changes are saved. So let's go to our dashboard again. And here's our dice roller app. Okay, okay, okay. So now let's go to all apps here. And from here, let's select our dice roller app. Click on this view app. now let's scroll down a little bit you can also use these features like you can add testers for your app all right and we'll go here in publish your app on google play so click on this view tasks so here we have to select countries and regions click on that now click on add countries or regions so here you can select a specific country to launch your app but if you want to launch your app uh, for all of the countries let's click on this one the country that will select all the countries and click on add countries add all right now we'll click on this create new release So here we will upload our APK file that we created. So here it's saying that complete the steps above to continue with your release. Okay. Which step? Uh, this one. Let's click on continue. All right. And now we can upload our APK file here. So our APK file is right here. Okay. So now let's drag and drop our APK file here. All right, our app is now uploaded. Here you can see our app version, API level, and target SDK, etc. Here is the release name version 1.0. You can also add some release note. Let's change this to first release. All right. And now, as everything is okay, we can click on save. All right. Now we can also click on this review release so that we'll send our apk for review to google all right it's giving us few warnings we can ignore them let's click on start rollout to production click here click on rollout okay so now as you can see our app has been sent for review and Google will take five to seven days to review our app and then it will be live on Play Store for download. So here in the all apps section as you can see our apps update status is in review. So let's wait for five days and then our app will be on live. So that is how we can upload our APK or our application to Play Store. Thank you so much for watching.